at the LBase Wireless Display Board. So this was sent to me by Mr. Ricky Gregory. Thank you. I think I saw him in the comments there. So appreciate this. Um, I wanted to just kind of go over how it works and what do you do with it. It's not quite like what the video shows. So you kind of have to prepare yourself for that. But um, it comes with a bunch of these little boxes. So they're different colored lights. So it tells you right here, there's blue, green, and then white. I think there's actually two red and three. There's three sets of white here. So you get a bunch of different LED lights, but this is the base. So you actually need this for this to work. I think it's magnetic. I'm not really sure how it works. I think it's coils or something like that, but basically says L base here. And from the back here, there is a little port for USB-C. So right there, the little USB-C port. It does come with a wire and a charger. Now, I don't know if Ricky supplied this or if this was uh, in the box. I think the wire came in the box. I'm not sure about this power block, but you do need to plug this in and this can just go right into here. And then you can plug this to any power source. Uh, you obviously can go to USB too. If, if you have a USB, you can use that as well. Right. So I have that plugged in. And then you turn on the switch right here. So that switch will turn it on. Okay, so Ricky says the power block didn't come with it. All right, so now it's on. It's actually a little hard to see. So I'm gonna turn off some lights just so you can see these a little bit better. I'll leave some lights on, but this will kind of help you see. So that's what happens as you get closer to that base, these LEDs light up. And I'm not really sure how it works. Um, I have to imagine some kind of coil inside here. If it's battery powered, then obviously these batteries are gonna die and eventually these LEDs won't work. So I'm pretty sure these are, you know, self-powered, but pretty neat little thing. So let me open up one of these packages. I think I actually already opened one. I am gonna take requ requests today. So if you guys wanna see these lights on a particular figure, uh, the chat is open to members. So anybody can join, uh, but uh, tonight I'm actually doing a members only chat. So it comes like this, you push open the box here. And there you go. And it does come with this little thing right here. So let me turn some lights back on. This little like sticky tack basically, right? So these aren't magnetic. I actually thought these might be magnetic or something, but you need the sticky tack. So that's how this works. So you kind of just take off this little plastic here and then you can grab a little piece of sticky tack and they didn't show that in the preview video, so it's a little misleading how these attach on, but basically take a little bit of sticky tack off of here. No, I'm just using a spudger. And I think I can see your comments, so if you if you have questions, go ahead and ask. But basically put a little bit of sticky tack on the end of there. Uh, I probably put too much on here, but and then you stick that wherever you want to stick it, and there you go. Now it actually works better. So if you're doing a standing figure, let me take that off of there. If you're doing a standing figure, it works a lot better. Let me get everything out of here so we can have some space. So let's bring in um, Optimus here, and I will take some requests on figures and what do you want to see the lights on. But basically take that little sticky tack, take it on there, and then it works best in this mode, you know, vertically with a standing figure. So you can put something like that in there. Turn off the lights. So there you go. You got a little red LED. Now obviously you can put whatever color you want. Let me get a different color. Let's see. Let's go with white. And if you haven't seen, uh, tonight's chat is members only, so I'm taking questions or requests from members today 
Uh, what do they want to see here? So let's check out the white. It looks exactly the same, but you can see it lights up as it gets closer to the base. Oh, that's better. Let's see if this let's see if that works a little better. So go ahead and take these out of here. And again, we need our little sticky tack. This is hard to show because I need the lights off, but so there you go. So there's white. So you could get this kind of on the matrix. And get that lit up. That's pretty cool. Now, if you want to display it horizontally, you can do that as well. So in order to do that, here, let's just move him out of the way. You're going to take this base. It comes with a little stand like this. There's two little rubber pieces right here. You're going to take this thing and it's going to basically lay down like this on top of there. Right? So that's how you kind of do horizontal. And then you can put like a truck or something like that on here. And now we can take, let's see, we'll take the white one here and put those on his headlights. So there you go. There's Optimus with a headlight. It's not as simple as they showed in the original uh, video that we all saw. Hey, what's up, D-Man? But it's, it's kind of neat. So let me put on another white one here for fun. And then we'll do some brake lights here. <laughs> it was quiet without D-Man. Thanks for joining. Oh, I guess moderators can chat too. So that's good. All right. So there you go. He's got two headlights now. Pretty cool. Let's come to the back here. Let's do some tail lights. So I always wish these were painted red. I don't know why they did it in gray. So I'm going to take a red LED. Again, these are wireless LEDs. If you're joining late, that's what I'm showing is the L base. So what this MP10 is actually sitting on top of the base. You do need something sticky. They're not magnetic or anything. So there you go. There's a. Tr they're not sticky. So you do need sticky tack, which it comes with. So they're not sticky and uh, they're not magnetic. You need this, but it comes with this. So that's fine. All right, let's get another red one on there just so I can show you two tail lights. And then I'll take some requests from you guys. If you, whatever figures you want to see, I will take some of these lights, throw them on there, and then we'll call it a day for today. Right. Uh, but yes, you do need the sticky tack to make this work. Right. So there you go. There it is with some tail lights. Now, if you take it far away enough, from the base, it turns off. So you can see it's turned off there. So I have that kind of right in front of the camera. But as soon as I come closer to the base, it starts to light up. The closer you are, the brighter it is. So that's kind of how it works. Starscream's eyes. Let me see if I can find Starscream. So I'll leave this here for your viewing pleasure while I go get Starscream. All right, so here's Starscream. I don't know if this is really going to work well because Starscream is, uh, Starscream's eyes are kind of small. But let's try it. Got the request, so I'll try it. So let's take the red. Yeah, these are these are way too big, T-Man. Let me, let me, and you're supposed to use, like, you know, tweezers or something. But. <laughs> Happy? There you go, T-Man. Or I can put him on his nipples. All right, let's try that. So Ricky, since Ricky, you send this to me, why don't you request whatever you want to see with these lights? Um, they are pretty neat. I do, I do think they're kind of cool, but uh, the fact that you had to put the sticky tack, that wasn't really revealed in their video, and it does kind of make it a little lackluster because you got it you got to hide that sticky tack right because otherwise you can see so you got to really get the exact right amount and kind of hide it away but there you go for that happy you got you got the nipples tiger tracks all right we'll do tiger tracks let me get a different color actually so let's see what color do you guys want let's try we have green 
We've done white and red, so let's do green or blue. Just so we can see every color. So I'm going to do green next. So there's the green. It's pretty wild. And I will, I will say, these are nice, bright LEDs. They do look good. And they do work. I mean, all of them seem to work. I haven't had any failure so far in terms of the actual electronics. They all seem to work pretty well. Let me grab one of these. They are nicely packaged, too. So let's see, I'll give you some, oh, this one's bigger. Oh, there's different sizes. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, so these green ones are gigantic. I just, I just figured this out. So let me bring that box over here. So here's green. And there's different sizes, four, five, and seven. These look like the big ones. So I guess the green ones are the bigger sized ones. So anyway, I didn't realize that till just now, but we'll get this on here just for funsies. And somebody asked for tiger tracks. Here, we'll give him, we'll give him some spinners. Happy? There you go. So pretty neat. Oh, oh, that's interesting. So down here is like actually the fan or like the the vent for cooling. So if you put it down there, it doesn't work anymore. So this really works best for standing figures. If you're going to put them like flat like this, you know, horizontal, then you want to lay this base down horizontally. All right. That's really it. I just wanted to show this and kind of... Yeah, I have it set to only channel members because... You guys are the ones that are allowed to make requests um, to either channel members or moderators. Excuse me. So I just wanted to give a couple quick things. And Ricky, before I end here, I want to give you a chance to request anything else. We'll put Optimus back up here. And then we'll call it for today. Uh, but really, I, I do think it's cool. I just wish that... Um, I just wish that they attached a little bit easier. Like it wasn't so complicated to, to kind of get them on there. Cause they kind of, you kind of really have to be good at using that sticky. Let's see if Starscream works. So Starscream does work. You can kind of get it to work, but when it gets too far from the base, it stops lighting up. All right, so I didn't see any requests, so I'm gonna end there. So thanks for joining. You can uh, get this on eBay, actually. Um, I haven't seen it anywhere else. I, I saw it advertised on Facebook, but then you can get it on eBay. So that's where you can pick this up. Um, thanks to Ricky Gregor for sending this me out for a review. They do seem like fun little things. You can probably have a little fun taking photos or pictures, You know, set up a little scene, probably explosions. Actually, you know what? Let me try an explosion. You could do something like this. Take one of these and put this in here. Oh yeah, look at that. So you can light up a, a blast effect. That's kind of cool. So I guess you could do something like that. But All right, well that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks Ricky for sending this out. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.